Welcome to another edition of Desarian Plays MMOs. Today I'm in EverQuest 2 and I'm on my level 87, almost 88 Necromancer. And I've traveled way up into the mountains here on the Great Divide. You can see I'm way far up. And I have found the Gomeri Village. So this is going to be the next little area of the quest hubs that you go to whenever you um, are following along in the Great Divide. It's out of this area that you actually can get a flying mount. This is one of the first places that you can obtain one uh, through questing means. Of course, you can always buy them in the store or other things. But this is really the main place where you would get your mount. But it does take a while. In fact, I think you have to do it over several days before you actually get it. So uh, keep that in mind if you're actually doing that. And uh, We might get into that here in this episode. I'm not for sure what's actually going to happen. So we'll just see what happens. Uh, here's Telepa. Another visit to our humble a visitor to our humble village. You are welcome so long as you do not cause trouble. I'm here to prevent trouble. What is that? It seems the warlike group of orcs known as the Rygor are looking to attack here. You must make preparations. How can that be? The Rygor cannot know of our presence here. We take care to keep ourselves hidden from them. I can't explain it. All I know is that they have made plans for the assault and I plan and, and have the, their plan of attack here. Let me see that. See, they have detailed maps. They know where you are. Because remember, we went down into that Rygor camp the, and they picked up some plans. Forgive me, stranger. You have to understand. We know of the Rygor and we do not. We did what we could to keep them away. But you're right. They indeed on their way. Uh, I have an idea to help. The map is a survey map, but it has no detail. You must be trying to gather information now. Perhaps we can stop them before they get the information they need. How might we do that? They look like they have mountaineers gathering the information they need. I will go out and see if I can find them, and perhaps that will slow them down. I would be very grateful if you could do that. Search near the cliff edges, and you they must be looking this for a way up. All right, so I'll do that. Uh, see if there's any other quest here, and there are a couple. Here's Billy. Billy the goat. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny, right? Uh, looks like another one opened up back here. Uh, this is a deep water guy. So I'm going to pick up all of these quests. And, ooh, some nice gear there coming. What was all of that nonsense? Got some right here. So let me uh, pick everything up and then we'll go see what kind of mobs we need to kill. So, uh, I know from experience that actually to get a flying mount, you need to go back in this area, the rookery. And if you try to go up there, the guards are like, whoa, and they knock your butt back. <laughs> so we need to go out, find the an old Cold Dane terrain map, slay the attacking order of Rhyme forces, and seek out Rygor Mountaineers, which they should all be just right out the door here. Uh, coming up the way, you can see, aha, they've got like a battlefront going, and the Rygar are attacking. So uh, we need to just take these guys out. It should be fairly easy, yep. Just dead already, so it's very quick. So let me finish these. Uh, you kind of have to look around the mountain for the, the mountaineers. So they're not easy to find, actually, so you may have to look these guys up on the map. So you can see it was just right outside here. But there was only two of them, so I'm going to have to find another one or hope that they spawn somewhere else. So I've done those quests. I found the Mountaineers and the other Rygor. And uh, I do have one that finds a Coldain terrain map, but I think I have to go back to Thurgoden to do that. And I'm not ready to go into Thurgoden again yet, unless I have to. I've got Billy's quest as well. And what does he want me to kill next? Slay Order of Rhyme groups with some Gomeri assistance. So it looks like the goats are going to help us. So I don't have any more quests to pick up. So let's go ahead and come down here and see what happens whenever I uh, fly into them. I wonder if the goats just show up. Or do I need to do something special? Oh, there's a Go Mary Defender. So that didn't work, but he's here now. No? Maybe not. Oh, wait. Here, let's... This guy's killing someone. Let's, let's see if I can kill these. Did not work. 
work. Hmm. So apparently you have to first talk to this battle-ready Gomeri that's standing there, Billy. He says, I'm eager to learn from your impressive skills, Disease. Are you prepared to lead into the battle? Yes, I'm ready. Come with me. Come with me now. All right, so he's with me. Let's make sure I fly that he's still here. Yes, he is. So now that I have him, these guys are uh, flat. Let's see if this works. Very good. And I just need three of those groups now. Okay, Billy, we did that. Just in time. What do you want me to do now? Aha, gonna get some new items. Very good. I just need to use the swirling snow gust to get rid of rhyme forces. Ah, this should be pretty interesting. Am I gonna do that here? Yep, so I'm gonna do it down a little ways. And I also need to return to Gelgith, which is uh, way over here at the where we were in the previous episode, the War Rhyme parts. So I'm going to do that and go to... Uh, so I'll make kind of a circle through these quests. Mm -hmm. So here I am, I'm landing at some sort of camp. So I'm going to set off... This is a... <laughs> I guess these... Yeah, these are Order of Rhyme. There we go. Whoa! It's a tornado. <laughs> and we're going to destroy the camp now. So I guess that means... Ah. Destroy. Oh, I thought I was going to set it all on fire. And one last little altar here. So you can see this still is kind of outside the Gomeri village, but I'm still going to make the rounds to the other quests that I have to turn in. So here's this Coldane terrain map right here, kind of like in this banking area way up in Thurgoden. So after returning back here, uh, the, the deep water guy wants me to make another run at the Rygor camp. So uh, they're all kind of uh, preparing together, it looks like. Uh, which I'm sure there's a really good story to go along with this, but I'm not reading it, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, just a lot more has opened up here, and there's going to be a lot of communication between them. So uh, now I need to go and uh, go back to the Rygor camp and kill a lot of them as well, it seems like. So uh, on the interim here, I went down to a one spot, and they want me to call her Tizic Champions, which are these minotaur looking guys and I'm not sure I think actually I need to go into their cave system to do this uh, all right doesn't look like their cave system let's see ah there's right there I don't need to go into their cave system uh, so oh I have to get him down to 50% ah it's gonna be hard poop and poop 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 come on before he dies before he dies I did not get him, so <laughs> this is another one of those situations where I need to suspend him. Maybe suspend him. Let's try try another one and see if uh, I can do this without too much trouble. But my mercenary was going to kill him really quickly because he's a higher level merc. Uh, this guy's going a little bit slower now. Come on. And there we go. Okay, so I can get it with my pet. Not without. So I'm going to have to find a few more of those. And look right here. Here's some of the guys we need for the attack on the Rygor camp. So see, we have to do grunts, soldiers, and... Thaumatris? Can't. I don't do well with that word. <laughs> so a lot of those. But we also actually got to get into the camp uh, to get some of the crates. All right, so I captured all of those Tzok. Oh my gosh, now there's just even more quest opening up. And a lot of these are gonna be um, going, yeah, they're gonna be dealing with the, the, the Minotaurs here and going in and out of their caves and doing a whole bunch of things. So I, I don't think I wanna cover that in this episode, so I'm probably gonna do a lot of that off the camera. Uh, but just to know that it's there and you're going to be doing a lot of it if you're going through all the quests here. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe uh, here's some Tundra Sphere. Like, we're going to need some of those. Going to need six of those. So they're just sitting around. 
Oh, man, I just got 88. Awesome. So I've made it into the Rygor camp, and uh, here's the little crate. So it's just these little wooden crates laying around. And I think mostly up here on the platforms, but up, that's the only one I've seen so far. Uh, so you just have to look around and actually see and kill a bunch of these guys as we go. See, so here's another one right there. Well, it's not lighting up. Maybe you have to kill them to actually get it to light up. Of course, I've got a name here, but I've already killed him in the previous episode. Yes, give me that. Oh, that isn't it. That's weird. All right, so I'll be looking around and getting more of those. Oh, it's because you only need the one. <laughs> I just figured that out. All right, so I guess we are going back up to uh, to the goats. So before I go up to the goats, I went back and uh, turned this in about the Rygor camp and everything else. And now we found the Greetings, scout. Traveler. Scout, eh? So it seems they are looking for something. I don't know. I just know that well, I am uneasy. I see scouts meeting with commanders down there, and I fear they are planning something. Aha. Maybe it's worth seeing. So we're going to de defeat the Rygor scouts to find any clues in their plans. So we're going to have to find a scout. I saw one over here. Let's kill him. I still don't know Rygor language. It's strange. Or Orc language, maybe. All, all together. Which seems odd. So he obviously didn't have what I have, so let me look around until I can find one. Ah, the next one did. So let's go back to the scout. I saw you down there. What did you find? Well, I'm afraid I'd have some good news. It looks like, indeed, they have plans to target Thurgoden. Look at this. Look at this. They are drawing up staging plans and drawing lines of attack. They are scouting out our patrols and the post of our guards. This is awful. All right, we need to warn Thurgoden. All right, so I'm going to have to go back up to Thurgoden, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to go up to the goats. Ah, as we fly in here, there are tons of quests. Tons and tons and tons. So we're going to turn this in. Here, yeah. Man, we got some deep water... Leggings, so these are, um, well, well, we're not actually in that outfit yet, maybe. Uh, but they're just heirloom items that we can, they're for just dress. And it looks like, a, oh yeah, Billy's got something for us. Ooh, yes, we got a nice new item that we definitely needed. Um... Attack speed, I don't need that. So let's do the Griffin Feather. So I'm going to put that on. Equip. Nope, wrong one. I need to get rid of that item. All right, let me see what else I got going on here. So here's the start of the guy that's going to give us the quest for the mount. He goes, greetings, disease. Though we all appreciate the aid you have provided us here, I cannot grant you passage into this cave at this time. When can you? When you have passed the test of entry, wandering one, the first being meditation ceremony. Are you interested? Yes, I am. Because uh, we're going to do this over a couple of episodes. So I need to gather some black stones. I need to gather some smuggler requisitions and report to Thurgoden, which I'm not going to do in this episode. So I think... Um, let me find some items here. Aha, these are... Not black stones, but you kick the stone off. Ah, there they are. So you're looking for stones, just some nubs in the sand. Okay, we got your stones. That will be good for both of us, I assure you, disease. The conflict that the rhyme surrounding our village has put everyone on edge is difficult to listen to the quiet voice of reason within the howling of winds of a gale. Makes sense? When you're ready to begin your meditation ceremony, throw the rocks onto the fire within the center of the village. Okay, so let's do that. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> that was a lot of rocks. Oh, and I'm starting the meditation ceremony. I guess. Since I'm sitting here doing nothing. Ooh, I'm glowing. There, I've completed the meditation ceremony. Now what? Get the get my own pit. Cool. Except I have seen your spirit, and I have seen some of your past. You have been delivered to us by the gods. That is amazing. May I enter the cave now? 
You are one step closer to gaining access to the rookery disease. Next, you must pass the test of reverence. Our herd prizes reverence of for life. Prove yourself and you shall give an entry. I definitely have reverence. Then you will not find this test to be challenging. I can sense someone upon the western slopes who is in dire situation. I show reverence may be exactly what is needed. Good luck. Good God-touched adventurer. Okay. So we need to go over on the cliffs. Uh, we can see right over here. Of course, I'm already flying, so um, find the dude that needs some help. Looks like there's a sole person standing out here. Help me, Outlander. I want to escape this life of torture and captivity. Hail to ye! Thank the gods of friendly face. Help me, please. I'm trying to escape, but have fallen gravely ill. Can you do something to relieve my pains? I'll see what I can do. Uh. Hello! I relieve you of your life? What? Oh, I took pity on the dying rhyme deserter and killed him. <laughs> okay, return to goat. All right, I did it. I found the rhyme deserter close to death and chose to end his suffering. Ah, uh, I'm glad to hear that you healed him. That is proof enough for me, disease. You may now enter the rookery, but be mindful that his well-beloved considered a holy to many there. Healed him. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what I did. <laughs> so now we can go back here into the rookery. And... Nobody's bothering us. Oh, we can still fly back here. Here we go. Norbu. Welcome to the rookery, God Dutch diseased. <laughs> that sounds a little bad. <laughs> uh, do you need any help? We are in need of frozen bitter leaf, a powerful healing herb that grows in the crevices down on the plains and spider silks and created bandages with. with. Can you retrieve them? Oh, you see the griffins up there? I sure can. Except, so we're going to be gathering some bitter leaf next. So, for the bitter root and the crystalline watchers, we need to go down in this little crevice here, which is kind of to the east of uh, the goat people. I, can't, I don't know why I can't remember their names, <laughs> but the goat people. Uh, so, those were the spiders. You can see, ah, here's the bitter root right here. And so, we need a lot of that too. Ah, so back in the rookery ah the frozen bitter leaf and the silk thank you hurry disease i do not think our patient has any moment to spare apply the salve directly to her wound me yes you are the god touched who better than you so we're going to go over here apply that okay return to norbu that was amazing, but I can't say I'm surprised, Disease. She has not allowed any of us to touch her, yet you were able to walk right up and apply the medicine. Why didn't that surprise you? All right. You are God-touched for a reason, Traveler. You were brought for a reason bigger than yourself. Uh, if you see, let anyone, it would be you. I'm honored. Uh, it's not the most glorious task, but sick Griffin and her griffin requires substance sustenance she will not be healthy enough to provide for her and when it's times to hatch will you venture out yeah sure so they want me ooh, get some new robes ah oh, that's not bad uh by doing this last bit of quest which is to slay snowy cliff beaks easy and you can see the cliff beaks are just the birds flying around here we've seen them all over the place so it should be easy to get eight of them okay i have the birds also, other saw, did I, you see allowed to approach the tender wounds? I, it has been decided that you are to have one of her eggs. That's great! You must care for it right away, as it is about to hatch. Take it from the nest in the nearby fire. So we take an egg, and we put it in the fire. <laughs> uh, right there. Get our new robe, very nice, and report. And now what? Oh, we get this item right here, which is to summon a pet griffin. Use. There we go. Rawr! Purr. Um, want to play a game of fetch? 
So you gotta do... Alright, we threw that, and you gotta go chase it. So, like, every day you're going to do something, and it's gonna come back. And so there's like, I forget how long it is, three days or so before... Um, you actually get to ride your griffin. So that's how that is done. All right, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to do certain things. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here, and we'll kind of continue that on the next episodes. We'll just kind of play with that and see when we actually get the griffin or not. Uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Your thumbs ups do determine and help me know that you guys are enjoying these videos and I should keep them a priority in my stream. Uh, I'm going to continue to play EQ2. There's just no way I'm ever stopping this game. Uh, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscription button. Your subscriptions really do mean a lot to me and you'll get notified of new MMOs and playthroughs that I do. So until next time, bye.